Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Yesterday, we talked about Team of the Season cards and really how expensive they are. And in the video, we called out EA asking for a change. And after playing the game yesterday, it almost felt like they did change something for the better. Did EA answer the call? I want to talk about that. We also yesterday had some big news related to FC25 in the deep dive and the reveal trailer for Ultimate Team, in which I asked for EA to see some of the news for some of the new game modes and biggest topics in FC25. Did EA answer that call? We're going to talk about all of that and get you up to date with what to look out for for today's Footies FC24 content. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Now, let's go to yesterday's content and start with the SBCs. Really a confusing player SBC, to be completely honest. A name that all of us know because we've packed him so many times before. Back when he was an 83-rated fodder card. I remember packing this guy all the time. It is Ever Banega, a randomly released 96-rated footies premium SBC yesterday. He's got good play style pluses. He's got 4-star, 5-star, high, high work rates. The stats are just kind of mid, and really it's just kind of like a interesting very random sbc one of the most random i'll be completely honest throughout the whole footies promo now if you're deeply involved with the argentinian league then you're loving this but for most of us i think this is pretty mid what it actually might serve as though is one of the cheapest 96 rated cards that we can get via sbc he is simply one squad to complete and that is just an 86 overall squad which 86s are so cheap right now this is only 30 thousand coins to complete so if you want a cheap 96 rated fodder card for whatever spc you're crafting this one actually might be worth throwing a little bit of that fodder into to get a high rated card now the other spcs the main ones from yesterday were the two player picks the 82 plus player pick is back our beloved good old 82 plus no changes i wondered if they were going to go for the fourth slot right the 81 plus player pick a couple of weeks ago had that fourth slot added but we saw what that did to the price so honestly i'm fine with the 82 plus player pick coming back the same way that it is two rares eight golds in total and it's the same one that we love no price changes no nothing just a good old reliable and great great for crafting 82 plus player pick now the other player pick that we had was the 87 plus which actually is kind of nice because they upgraded the rating right we're used to the 85 or the 86 plus player pick and they hit us with an 87 but what is not great about this is the tots requirement again tots or team of the week requirement inside of this SBC. so add that to the list of SBCs that are requiring team of the season cards to be honest like I don't know if I'm going to do any of these this week. Maybe a couple here or there, but on the priority list of what SBCs I'm trying to get done for what can give me the best fodder or a chance at a really high rated player, this 87 plus player pick doesn't rank that high to be completely honest with the TOTS requirement in there. I know it's pretty easy to get done, and if I was to craft with 82 plus picks and get a quick team of the week player pick done, then it wouldn't be that hard to do. And you're probably going to get a really high rated card from it. They could be useful, but honestly, for me, it's that touch requirement that just makes it more annoying than anything and uh, makes me not want to do the SBC, to be completely honest. But if you want to craft it, go ahead and go for it. Now, speaking of the touch requirements, right? That's what we talked about a lot in yesterday's video. And Yesterday, we said that these cards were too expensive and that they were too hard to pack. And honestly, it felt like after logging into the content yesterday and seeing them require more TOTS cards again, it was going to be very disappointing because we were like, oh no, we all need TOTS cards and now they're asking us for more, right? Well, we went to open our 84 times 10s and 85 times 10 SBC that we get every single day refreshing. And a lot of us, I'm saying us, mentioning me in the Twitch chat as we were live streaming, kind of doing it all together, getting our daily SBCs done, yap yapping it up, chatting it up, right? And we all noticed that we were packing a few more team of the season cards than normally than we normally do. Did EA actually increase the weight a little bit? Like, honestly, like we noticed a subtle difference, not like a major difference, but I felt like I was packing an, a team of the season card in almost all of my 84 times 10s. I packed in the 85 times 10, even doing a couple of 82 plus player picks. I think I hit like a Kuti Romero just a little bit ago from doing a set of player picks. It felt like the weight on tots may have actually been increased 
a little bit, to be completely honest. Now, maybe it seems like a little bit of a stretch that it was changed that quickly. Maybe there was nothing that was changed at all. We just had a little bit better luck with Team of the Seasons. But one other thing to kind of mention is the price of TOTS cards. Right now, TOTS are 50,000 coins flat. And with even more Team of the Seasons required yesterday in that 87 plus pick, which of course you can do three times, yes, TOTS cards did go up, but they didn't go to 60K like they did on Sunday. They did not go as high. They went to about 56 to 57,000 coins, and then they started to come back down as they are right now, back down to 50,000 coins flat. So, yeah, even with that 87 plus requiring them, they didn't go as high as they did on Sunday. Maybe that's because EA was allowing people to pack them more from all the other packs they were doing. Maybe there wasn't an answer to the call, to be completely honest, and it was just our representation. Maybe you opened your 84 times 10s, didn't see any team this season, or 85 times 10 and didn't see anything, and it was annoying for you because you still were searching for TOTS cards. But um, it just seemed maybe just a little bit different yesterday. So we're going to test it again today. I'm going to open my 84 tens and 85 10 and really look for how many Todd's cards do we pack? Are we packing them more consistently, even from 82 plus player picks? I feel like if you do a set of 82 plus player picks, like a set of 10, your chances of a Todd's card are a lot higher maybe than they were with the 81 plus pick. I don't know. Maybe it's just me yapping about this, but like really, we're probably not going to see a massive change on the team of the season pack weight, like a really, really big noticeable change until Friday, because that's when the footies re-release team two goes away and team three comes to town. I think that's when we'll see a honestly massive shift in what is in packs. And especially with TOTS prices, hopefully there's a lot more TOTS cards in packs on Friday with team three. And that just means better crafting for the SBCs and the less of the need to buy those cards off of the market. So the prices should chill out. Now, speaking of team of the season cards, today is the last day to sell them. It is Tuesday, right? Because remember what happens every single week on Wednesdays, we have the tradable team of the week and team of the season, both that refresh. These guys drop every single week. Last week, they were 45K. They went down to the low 30s. Now this week, I'm going to be a little more skeptical about buying tots, the most skeptical ever because of batch three. We'll talk about that in the next couple of days. But the biggest info right now is sell any sort of tots card that you have. One thing I will mention is EA actually frauded a little bit with team of the season price ranges. If you, I don't know if any of you guys noticed this, but yesterday some TOTS cards had their price ranges lowered and some of them were lowered by like 10K. TOTS plus Koulibaly from 60 to 50,000 coins. Pat um, Guijaro, Patricia Guijaro was lowered from 60 to 50K as well. And some of the other TOTS, Plus and Tots Moments cards can now only sell at 50K, which during peak content demand yesterday actually meant that some of them were going extinct and people were not able to sell them as high as they were before. So again, another instance where EA is out of touch with the price ranges. We've seen this over and over and over this year. It is so annoying. So that's kind of my thoughts on the Tots situation yesterday. I felt like they were a little easier to pack. Maybe you don't. Let me know down in the comments what you think from what your 84 times 10s and stuff looked like yesterday. Now, speaking of 84 times 10s, I forgot to mention this in yesterday's video, but the daily login was completable yesterday. If you've done the daily login every single day, you got an 83 times five for the fifth completion and a free 84 times 10. So there was extra fodder to go around from that. That is very, very nice. We'll probably get another one of these on Thursday, but just to mention that, that was fully completable yesterday with the fifth day since it starts on Thursday. It's kind of a day ahead of what you would normally think for that one there. Now, the second call to EA that we talked about yesterday was the deep dive. FC 25 Ultimate Team reveal with the deep dive with the video. I wanted to see some specific information about the season pass guys, right? I wanted to see that season pass paid versus unpaid that have been talking about, specifically information on Evos and division rivals as well. And I want to break this down really quickly and talk through some of the high level points because I know a lot of you guys have looked through this. We did a full review of our initial reaction and some of our thoughts on the second channel. I'll link that above if you want to check that out after this video. But just a couple of interesting points from this yesterday. We have rush points here talked about. As you can see, if you play a rush game, you get match coins and you get rush points. And this objective here that they're showing, actually, they mentioned this is going to be a weekly rush objective. Like this looks like it's inside of ultimate team in the regular objective section right now that we are normally using. As you can see here, you earn the rush points, but then those rush points actually, it looks like over here on the right side, unlock SP. And I tweeted about this just a few hours ago. Guys, I think with the whole new season revamp, kind of incorporating pro clubs, career mode, and ultimate team, I think XP is going away. I think they're 
replacing it with SP, like season points or season pass points, whatever that SP is going to stand for. That honestly looks like a replacement for XP right there. But it's interesting that we're going to have to play Rush every single week to get XP for like our weekly XP to earn 45,000 Rush points, which I mean, you're going to have to go ahead and do some objectives and do some of the uh, what they call them blocks um, that you're going to have to complete to get the extra multipliers and the extra rush points because getting 150 points for this game, there was another match that showed in the trailer that showed 700 points. You're going to have to play a decent amount to get those points up. That's really interesting, but it is nice as well that they're going to be putting out weekly content related to that rush game mode to hopefully keep it fresh. And we all hope of course, that it doesn't turn into another moments or Volta type situation from the past. Now, really quick overview here on the FCIQ. Probably the biggest thing with this is the player roles are going to show on the player cards, which is actually really, really nice, especially to notice that for the active positions that a player has, all the different positions a player can play, they will show the roles and the roles pluses and the role plus plus that that card is good at. This is going to come into play big time when we talk about promo cards and upgrades as EA release promos throughout the year. They're, of course, going to be changing things and uh, selling packs, to be completely honest, by changing the roles and the role pluses on players now let's talk about evolutions for a little bit because that was the next biggest thing that we had yesterday it was this little video right here showing the jude bellingham with the customizable designs for the cards including different colors including animations and they said sounds as well that was kind of uh, described here in this paragraph, which I mean, sounds cool, but maybe one of the coolest things about this though, is them saying evolve your player items more often. And actually this is a little confusing. I think EA needs to explain this a little bit better, but there was a great tweet put out yesterday by foot.gg. And I actually want to look this up right here because this tweet was phenomenal explaining how the new Evo changes are going to work in FC 25. Basically there's upgrade limits. So Doku fits the requirements for the Evo, maximum 82, right? And this example evolution that they're talking about here gives you plus 10 on all stats. But they say here that there's an upgrade limit on the stats that a card could exceed, and it's 95 pace. Now, since Doku has 91, and a plus 10 would take him, of course, up to 99 to be his max pace card, EA has set a limit in this example Evo to 95. So he would only get upgraded to 95 pace, um, and he would not get the full upgrade, right? So that's kind of how that works. Basically, it sounds like they're going to enable us to Evo more cards than what we would be able to be evolving in the past. Because even if your player doesn't fit some of the requirements, like this, this one right here is the one that was interesting to me. In FC25, evolutions can have maximum limits on certain attributes. Players who will meet or exceed the limit will can still be selected for that evolution and receive upgrades to their other attributes as long as they satisfy the other requirements so let's say right now somebody doesn't fit an evo because of the pace requirements too high your card's too pacey but they would still be able to be evolved at least somehow with the rest of the stat upgrade in that evo that's going to blow evolutions wide open like it's going to make it really crazy so i think we need more deep dives and more info on this specifically but that was something yesterday about evolutions that i thought was kind of interesting um inside of this now last thing i want to touch on is division rivals which really here there wasn't a whole lot to it except for you know ea mentioned our legacy division placement right basically if you're in the elite division division one or division two you will end up in division seven at the start of fc 25 and then of course there's kind of a down step from there some people are thinking that if you were an elite division you'd end up in elite division to start off fc 25 that is absolutely not the case because of course ea wants us to grind up from the bottom up one other interesting thing about rivals is um there are no more three reward sets remember how you have option one two and three there is only going to be one option for ea to, they said that it's going to be less confusing and most people picked the same one anyway which i'm really curious to see are they going to kind of do a combined tradable versus untradable rewards in division rivals or is it going to be mostly untradable which i think most people take so really really curious and interested to see how that works out and how that plays out but that was kind of an overview of the deep dive yesterday, to be completely honest. Um, it feels like still that EA is withholding information from us because we didn't get any information yesterday about some of the things that I was asking for, like the season pass. They said nothing about the season pass. Um, and, it, you know, some of the things like the evolutions we talked about, it feels like we need more info from still. So I'm really confused 
really unsure about how that's going to be explained to us because it kind of feels like the footies content, right? It feels like EA is talking about Rush and FCIQ over and over and over. We're getting all these 95s and 96 rated footies cards over and over and over. They just need to like blow the doors off and let us get all the information. And there, it feels like right now they're kind of withholding some of that with footies content and FC25 content. So that's just the state of all that from yesterday. Now, I kind of clicked over it when I went to search for that tweet, but this is one of the biggest things from yesterday. The new walkout animation in FC25 as well. This is on EA's socials. If you want to check out their like YouTube, I think it was a YouTube short and a uh, TikTok. I think they posted about this. Uh, the pack animation, I think it looks really cool. Like they brought back the whole tunnel aspect that we had a few years ago, but it's way quicker. It's not like a whole walk down the tunnel. It's kind of like you see the player in the tunnel. And then, you know, that's where you get the tease of like the player's silhouette. You get the position, you get the nation you get the league and then you get after that like a glimpse of the player you pop out of the tunnel to see the club and then boom it's the card with the walkout animation now it's a single walkout that the, the example that they showed but it looks really cool to be completely honest it's fast like the fc24 pack animation and it still has kind of that level of like uncertainty that this year's pack animation has had like you could maybe tell by who's walking there maybe there'll be some other tells as we see the animation more and more uh, but this is the walkout animation the the one that they showed in the um, deep dive revealed trailer looked a little bit different and it was shorter. So either that was a non walkout, but it was 88 Sophia Smith. So we're a little confused um, on how that pack animation is going to look for all the different levels of cards that we will pack. But that walkout animation looks pretty sick. Now, speaking of FC25, just a little bit more, I want to touch on this because EA actually has an article on their website about the closed beta because there's been a lot of rumors on Twitter going around about the closed beta codes are being sent out. I haven't seen one person post a screenshot of like the EA email. Remember when the codes get sent out? Everybody's on Twitter saying, oh, look at me. I got a closed beta code from EA and they're posting the screenshot of it on Twitter, right? Which I think is fine to do. I don't think that's a problem because you're just like screenshotting the email and not the actual like, you know, login to the game so that you can give away the details or whatever. But anyways, um, I haven't seen anybody with a code yet. Maybe it's because he said testers and content creators have access. I don't know anybody who has access. I haven't got an email yet. I, I got nothing. So I'll wait and be checking my email just like all of you guys. And we'll see when this starts happening. But this is from EA's official web website saying that the closed beta starts today, starting at 5 p.m. UTC. That is when it starts. It goes until August 27th. So, uh, yeah, that's some news because, I mean, EA has said nothing about this so far besides this website. This is the official EA Help website. So that is really intriguing and that is really interesting. We will see if there's more news and information about that today because as of right now, it seems like not very many people have a beta code or the emails are not being sent out very much. So we will keep an eye on that today for sure, especially if EA is saying it's supposed to start today, then it's probably going to start today. Now, really quickly, before we get into Tuesday content and finish this thing off, let's talk about uh, footies prices just for a second, because some of the footies cards are actually down a good bit more. And I know this is the point of the week where some of you guys are looking to buy a couple of these footies cards, maybe for a team, maybe to try out, especially after the weekend league ends tomorrow just because you know that the prices get kind of low during this time frame. Remember the footies cards like Lewandowski and some of the others last week really, really rose up in price a lot. There could be some prices that do that this week as well. I think what you're going to see today is probably prices dropping a little bit more. David Alaba was just like 280K. He still is like under 300. That's pretty low for his card. Socrates is 385. Gavi is the lowest that I've seen him. Usman Dembele is 3 million coins. That's the lowest that I've seen him. So I'm not really actively trying to buy a lot of these players, but I will say that if you are, um, keep an eye on their prices today. It looks like Usman just bounced up like 300K because he was 3.4. But keep an eye on these. If they drop more today, you could be getting near the low point. Remember last week, Lewandowski was one who did really good. And his low point was, I think, between Tuesday and Wednesday. He went from 650, 670,000 coins, and now he's almost 900K. So there's potential for some of these footies team three cards to rise a bit as well. Also, I'd say keep an eye on some of these footies batch two cards because they're probably still going to be dropping in the next day or two with weekend league rewards being pushed out. But some of the cards from batch one rose nicely out of packs. You know, Neymar's got this card that's 9 million and this one that's only 900K. This card's insane, by the way, after packing him. He's so good. But like this could be a card that maybe you look to invest in 
maybe you want it for your team. Some of those players would be interesting to watch really soon. This Cristiano Ronaldo, 135,000 coins, right? And when this one's 5 million. So keep an eye on some of the cards from batch two as they drop a bit more today, tomorrow for a potential investment for the end of the week, if that is something that concerns you. Now, let's talk about today, guys. Tuesday, Gamble Tuesday. You know I was going to say it. You were probably waiting for it, right? You know what day it is? We're waiting for another 94 plus or some sort of other gamble type of player pick slash pack here in the SBC section. Now, last week we had the 94 plus. They increased the rating and it was a one of four. Honestly, I don't know if they can go much higher than a 94 plus. I don't know if they're going to allow themselves to do that. They will probably add in the footies team three, but I feel like it'll be just like the icon player pick this week where they didn't change anything except they added in footies team three. That's just my guess from this. I think today we'll still get a 94 plus PTG make your mark team in tournament. Great to the game heroes footies team one, two and three player pick. Now this one last week was an 88 and an 89 with one team of the season required. It'll be worth doing. It'll be fun for the craft. We'll be trying them out on stream for sure um but there was a lot of fodder from these last weeks as well i remember there wasn't even that fun opening though so hopefully they change something with the weight this week and make it a little bit more enjoyable but that'll be something to craft and to try and then of course a player spc we get a player spc every single day will it be a, a player or will it be a hero or an icon again we still have cordoba and crouch that are leaked at the moment a lot of hero names still floating around but again it could be another random uh player spc that we weren't expecting like ever Banega yesterday who knows so i would expect some sort of player spc today and again i want to mention it we mentioned it before but i'll say it again last day to sell team of the seasons because those cards will be dropping for sure, especially if any of the cards are like extinct. Definitely sell those. If it's a TOTS moments or a TOTS card, definitely sell those because not only do you have the 90 plus pack that's going to be refreshing tomorrow and Wednesday, but you have some more of Team of the Seasons that could be in packs this Friday with Batch 3. And that just means more potential for prices to drop. Last thing I want to mention with SBC fodder is... Prices are looking low again on 84s. If you want to get involved here at 1.2 to 1.3K, yesterday these cards went to, they were like 2,000 coins. They dropped a little bit after content. But with the SBC, the 94 plus refreshing today, I think these would be good investments again. The low two, let's say 2.5K for 85s should be good. These were 4,000 coins before dropping off. I think they will bounce again today as people will log on to do that 94 plus pick. And then whatever SBCs we have, you know, the refresh of all the 8410s and stuff like that too. So if you want to buy 84s, 1.2K. If you want to buy 85s, 2.5K, that'll probably be the place to buy and then sell them after content today, just like the team of the seasons. I had my first ever like trade flip in like a couple of weeks, to be completely honest. I bought Rolfo yesterday, completely unwarranted, completely random on stream. 1.56, we got a snipe for her, sold her at 177. So we have a few more coins. We opened a 600K pack yesterday and that allowed me to do six was it i think it was five or six of the 92 plus ptg make your mark picks the repeatable ones and i got absolutely nothing from those except for some high rated fodder so that was a bit of a bummer but we're going to do it all again today keep chasing some of the high rated cards in this 92 plus but that's a video for me guys if you did enjoy smash a thumbs up on it comment below if you have any questions and of course subscribe if you're new have a great tuesday check out the second channel video for more fc25 deep dive and i'll see you guys in the stream today it's been nathan for the count and catch you there peace